Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when integrating authentication into their applications. Our viewer is looking to restrict access to their web-based application, which currently allows any user with a specific email domain to log in. They want to know if it's possible to limit access further by using a GitLab group to manage who can use the app. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To restrict access to your application using OAuth2 proxy with GitLab, we need to configure the OAuth2 proxy settings to limit access based on GitLab groups. First, ensure that you have the necessary permissions to manage groups in GitLab. You will create a group and add the relevant users to it. Next, you will need to modify your OAuth2 proxy configuration. Instead of allowing all users with a specific email domain, you will implement a custom authorization method. You can use the GitLab API to check group membership. In your OAuth2 proxy setup, implement a script that verifies if the authenticated user belongs to the specified GitLab group. Finally, test your configuration to ensure that only users in the specified GitLab group can access your application. This will provide the restricted access you need. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To restrict access to your application using OAuth2 proxy with GitLab, you can utilize the Authenticated Emails feature. This allows you to specify a list of authorized email addresses. For detailed instructions, refer to the OAuth2 proxy documentation, which provides guidance on configuration options. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.